available for any of the auto workers down there and y'all can pass it across unions I don't give a fuck and once y'all determine that I'm not insane that I know what the fuck I'm talking about then I'm gonna come down there and I'm gonna sit in the little auditorium setup they got there and I'm gonna wait for them to come down there from Detroit. All of the big three CEOs, they already been told what their marching orders are. There's a letter that was sent to Mary Bear a couple months ago that's available at Orion. Um, hopefully he posts it as a um, comment or share on this video so that y'all know I'm not bullshitting. They gonna pay y'all or we gonna close the big three. It's just that simple. I'm not gonna allow them to do the contract that they have. They have it already at town. How they gonna wait y'all financially? I'm not gonna sit here and let it go. I know what the contract is. It's a take it or leave it contract. Where they wanna cut y'all pay and have y'all pay for y'all own home. That's not gonna fly on my watch and let y'all let it let y'all let it fly. They will close the big three before that contract flies. That's too, that's too audaciously oppressive. Before I let that fly, we will close. There will be no sense in making the contract. Because won't nobody make them and be able to afford one anyway. Barely be able to afford a McDonald's burger. So um, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're dealing with. Now, that's my shit. I don't have to give y'all nothing. That's not the purpose of me being in the position to give y'all. Give y'all what y'all deserve. I ain't talking about giving y'all no extra. I'm talking about what you earn. I'm talking about all of the people that sit next to me on that line, busting their butt while management is claiming they make their butt. Them the people I'm talking about. They all know what's up. And they laughing at y'all because y'all ain't figured it out yet. And I'm up here pissed at y'all because they laughing at Tell me if it's better now. I don't know, I, but Facebook be doing that to my videos. Like I have it on the stand and the sound will still be moving in and out because they be trying to um, blotch out certain comments. They don't want people to know information. They be trying to control it. So um, I ain't going to tie this up too much longer. I'm going to go over it one more time. Y'all can review the psych report to determine if I'm crazy or not. It, I will sign the HIPAA waiver for Barb to pull the psych report. You can have it passed out to anybody in there that think I'm psychologically unstable or don't know what I'm talking about. Let them read it themselves. They don't have to rely on nobody else. Once we take the insanity factor out of the equation and everybody's confronted with this motherfucker not crazy and he know what he's talking about... Then we can make progress. Then we can make some progress. Now, <clears throat> once y'all understand that I know what I'm talking about and that we're not going to allow this oppressive um, theft through the system of inflation and stagnant wages where you think you're making what you're making, but you really not. If you really knew what you was making, you're making equivalent to what you should was about twelve dollars an hour in a stable economy um, versus the thirty dollars that you think you're making. It, and then when they get done taxing your ass, you don't even take that home. Y'all don't even see this. Uncle Sam is a liar and a cheater. I'm going to, that's the next order of business is the internal revenue. They already know. If you pay attention, you will see them son of a bitches packing up high rise buildings from the internal revenue because they already know they ass got to go. They already know. Look at the portions of government that's being shut down. They knew they was in the way to begin with. They in the op they obstacles to the progress of humanity. They have to go. I know Chanel, when you know you you pay attention to what I'm saying and not because you can don't just say dismiss it because you don't understand it, you might go check it out. 
So um, I have to go through this for the people that don't have time to really do the investigation. I have to push them a little harder and I have to push them in a different direction. This is the clean. I'm the cleanup crew. I'm the cleanup crew. They've been back since I had to I had to go address the grievances. I had to review the grievances of the people of Earth. Now that I done reviewed the grievances is the same everywhere. Everybody is crying about the same thing, but it is a problem that's within their own control that they complain about. Everybody wanna be entitled to some shit they don't earn, and the people that earn is scared to get what they got coming. So, um auto workers need to wake up. Come to grips with what the fuck before you. This is not a game or a joke. Each one of y'all need to share this with a hundred of y'all. Everybody that work for UAW. I'm going to go over briefly. For Ford and General Motors, I want to increase by mid-contract pay to $45 an hour. No copay insurance Unlimited dental until the dental process is done. All workers that work um, a certain number of hours will automatically be enrolled in the AFLAC through the company. The AFLAC is to cover in case you get injured on the job or sick while you're working. You ain't struggling to pay your damn bills. Um, Mark Filine from Trim posted... Um, the only reasonable suggestion other than what I just offered for the UAW workers. And um, that's under consideration as well. And it probably going to be a part of um, what I tell them to do if y'all wake up. If y'all don't wake up, I'm, I'm just, it's just going to be no U.S. auto manufacturer. That's just going to how it's going to be because if they ain't going to pay y'all and y'all not going to band together to get what y'all got coming when it's offered, then there's no sense of y'all even having a job because you won't be able to afford to pay a light bill with a, with two weeks worth of work. So that's, that's counterproductive. Y'all might as well get on welfare if y'all going to do that. And the next order of business for the auto workers would be for to deal with this Chrysler thing. See, Chrysler got a unique situation because their um, negotiators got caught taking bribes. Now, there's no way, no court in this land will say that there's a recoverable method for Chrysler workers to earn the trust or for their negotiators to be trusted again. They can't. How do you overcome that obstacle? You don't. You give them 60% of the company. You divide 60% of the North American operations against up with the North American worker that was sold out. In the, that's the only recovery. That's the only reasonable recovery from the bribery. Had they not been caught, they would have did the same thing as the Ford and GM. The Ford, Because I know they all was taking the money. All of them was. I know they was all in on it. I know who took what. But because the way that they did it, they was able to cover their tracks. Um, according to the code of thieves, there's nothing I can do. They honored the code. Long as they were those who didn't honor the code got caught. Those who honored the code didn't get caught, so they can't be punished. So Mary Bear know what I'm talking about. Sitting over there with her mouth on the floor when she hear this, because she's gonna be listening, because they're gonna have her. Uh, Barry, he's on. You need to listen to what he's saying. She know what the fuck I am. She know who she paid. She know who she paid, who she used to pay him. She know I know because I'm telling her I know. I know her personal secrets. I know about her uncles or uncle, but he ain't really her uncle. He don't even think he related to her in real life. But I know what he did to her to fuck her brain up. I know all they dirt. I ain't here for that. That's not the point. The point is that the worker need to be made whole. There's no sense of sending people to spend half of their life in the factory like Doug can't even fucking walk, but he can't retire yet. 
He can't fucking walk, but he can't retire yet because they fucked him out of so much of his money. We can blame it on Doug and say it was bad investment. But had they been paying him right, he wouldn't have even needed to make an investment. Y'all don't get it. So when y'all wake up from the shock of ignorance and the depths of foolishness and realize that I'm the only person that's going to get y'all a reasonable pay rate with reasonable benefits according to the struggle because I went through it. I know what y'all deal with. You know, deal with it. The psych report is available. Go ask Barb to call me and then we can take it from there and we can make something happen. Now, I'm going to wrap this up and I'm going to watch the ridicule as it unfold in the local. But y'all should wake y'all ass up and get y'all money. That's what y'all should do because... If they're going to keep oppressing people, I'm going to tear this motherfucker up. I got the armies of heaven and hell backing me on this one. The oppressive regime falls on my watch. And y'all can be part of the problem or the solution. But I guarantee you the problem will be cleaned up and put in the trash correctly. Right? So don't believe me. Check it out. Investigate. Do your own research. Determine if I was telling you what was correct. Understand the chess game that's being played at the corporate level that you have no clue is being played. I'm the showstopper, the main event, the deadline. I'm the motherfucking finish line they can't cross. When it comes to motherfucking deal with me, they don't know what to do. They all scared because they don't know if I'm a send their ass to the depths of hell or motherfucking reward them and they don't know which one they expect because they don't know how much of their dirt is actually held against them. And I ain't telling them. But I'm telling you, working people, you good people with the good heart that don't want to get the excess shit, that's not in it for the entitlement and the greed, y'all can get what y'all earn. Y'all got a right to that. And I will deny nobody what they rightfully deserve from work and suffering. You earn that. You got that coming. But if you don't come get it, I can't make you take it. That's just the way it is. So y'all can either unite or crumble. It really don't matter to me because I'm going to get mine. Get yours. And with that, I say peace, people. Won't let me read. I got the. It'll clear up in a minute. I'm trying to see these questions. My computer won't won't cooperate. It might be Facebook. Might not be my computer because Facebook always doing something to sabotage the show. Yeah. Um. So anyway, <clears throat> so the racism was used to weaponize humans to oppress other humans. And then in order to keep their hands clean, the humans that they use as the weapon would be turned into the victims of the world by being um, annihilated because of their belief system and superiority. They did it all. They've been doing it in our face for the last hundred years. They did it with Hitler. They did it with Chairman Mao. Um, even though they didn't all use it as a skin, they showed you how the, the mechanism work. Um, when they, the Bolshevik Revolution, the same mechanism is at play. None of it has changed. They didn't even adapt the strategy. They only got 32 degrees of knowledge, and that's not very much. Um, if we decide to use 35 degrees of knowledge, they in trouble. Not 360. We got to use God knowledge. We can just use some three degrees higher than them. They're stuck. If they've been holding us in place with 32 degrees by keeping us at zero, imagine what we can do just by having 35 degrees of knowledge. 30, 40. 
you're for 42 degrees. <clears throat> when we're looking at the whole problem, then we can understand the solution better. But when we're only looking at part of the problem, um, and we don't really see where is the source. If order to find out why you failed and how you got in that condition, or in order to get out of the condition, you got to know how you got into the condition. You got to know where, like, where your strengths were um, and what's being kept from you. When you realize that the only thing really being kept from black, they give us all the guns. They give us guns, but what they don't want us to have. They don't want us to have congregations of people talking about indigenous things. Why? They give us guns. They give us, we can even get grenades and grenade launchers in the hood. But when we start talking about um, the Loas and the Obey and um, the Santa Rhea, they start getting all upset and jacked out of shape. No, we need to be asking why would they give us guns, but they don't want us talking about that stuff. And they don't want us talking about the Haitian Revolution openly amongst ourselves in public. Why? What is they what is they telling us? What's more powerful than them bullets then? There's gotta be something there that they give you a gun, different calibers. They give you the guns, they give you a whole stockpile of firearms. All they do is lock you up. But when you start talking about um, your indigenous practices of power, now they start getting nervous. That's what we need to be trying to figure out. Right? Why is that taking place? What is that? What is life telling me about that concept? You know. Um. Hey, Tina, getting a little bit of, okay. I might be able to see y'all questions now. So um, they told us that uh, Irish people can't be properly psychoanalyzed. Hmm. You know what, India? Um, that's not going to be hard for you to figure out. But um, you have to go through a couple of practices and you'll be able to find out who you was in your past life. Um, which um, information... Miss Meadows. Hey, Becky Stryker. Tina Nathan. Portia. Okay, and the whole universe and the people in it is just a mental creation. Okay. Now, I've been hearing this, and let's just deal with this. The whole universe and everything we say, see is a mental creation. I want you to get up and run through that mental wall fast as you can and see if you come out on the other side of that mental creation. And so they can stop telling me that. It's a it's a figment of your imagination. Um, somebody swat you across the face with a two by four. Don't worry about it. It's just all a construct of the mind. The mind make it real. But that shit ain't going to stop your ass from bleeding knowing that. So it's not so much of whether it's a projection of the mind in 3D. That's not the that's not the bigger concern. The bigger concern is if it is a projection of the mind in 3D, how can you control it? How can you walk through that wall without being stopped by the laws of physics, by the law of density? You can't escape that mental projection that they call the law of density. So if you try to run through that wall, that wall going to smack you back on your ass. So while they telling you that, they not really telling you what they mean. They leading you in a slanted direction of view to slightly confuse you, to keep you from seeing something. What the fuck they had? 
That's what you need to be trying to figure out when they tell you that it's all a projection of the mind. We all, God living the reality is me. Okay, if you God living the reality is you, do some God shit in the reality you are in as you. Let me see you do some God shit. I mean, that's all I want to see. I'm not, not saying that there's anything wrong with what you're saying. I'm just, you know, I mean, you said you was God experiencing life as a human. And in order for you to say you God and mean that shit, you have to realize yourself as God, which means you went through an internal alchemical process of development that you're no